Welcome to this month's leading feature, a celebration of the latest in Kenworth's heritage series, the T900 Legend. There's no main test this month. You can't test a truck that's specifically built to celebrate another era. A truck that's going to be one of only 256 that will ever be built. You can't walk into a Kenworth showroom now and sign up for a T900 Legend. They're all gone. And it's likely most will only ever know one livery. We chose Bevan and Tania Satherley's T900 Legend because it's a logger. It was in this application that the original model released in 91 had its genesis. New Zealand log carding legend Mike Lambert was instrumental in getting the T900 into existence as he didn't feel the models that replaced the iconic W924 were fitting successes, both in terms of application to his work and looks. So in all reality this is the celebration of a bonnet line whose roots go back over 50 years. A bonnet line that had almost a Pied Piper effect on a generation of young folk who later climbed aboard. Also a time when the truck's contribution to the broader society was better understood. As we know, the reduced cooling requirements of the SCR engines allowed the Heritage Series to come to life as it brought the old radiator frontages back into the game. So that being the case, under this period mask beats the heart of youth, and almost all the legends will spend their life earning a crust alongside their modern day workmate. No more so than the Satherley machine. It's not all period inside the cab either. Things are a lot quieter than they used to be, and there's modern necessities like coffee cup holders. The cab's a wonderful place where you can lose yourself in a simpler time and drive a truck that's easy to operate for those taught the art rather than the science. And that's certainly the way driver Shane McFarlane was taught. He's the perfect man for this machine. Ironically, with a lower stance, no high-rise air intakes or bug deflector on the bonnet, Shane says visibility from the legend is superior to that of the T904 that he got out of. So what's in a legend? Aside from the B-Series cab, the legend extras include traditional doors with quarter light windows and air window controls, leather seats with limited edition logos, traditional trim colours as per T900 models of the 90s, a limited edition wooden gear knob, limited edition chrome spoke steering wheel, heritage trim logos, bullet style marker lights, heritage air horns, stainless sun visor, not on the Southerly truck, we'll explain that in a minute, heritage hood emblem, name badge and KW logos, period engine colours, circa N14 select, 7 inch chrome stacks and heritage muffler surrounds, 7 grill bars and heritage style alloy fuel tank steps, heritage mud flaps and logos. Bevan and Tania have gone a few minor major steps further though. Minor in terms of overall cost to the truck, major in terms of what they do to the truck, and made this a really period machine. Replacing the square indicators with round, removing the stainless steel headlight backing plates, replacing the stainless steel sun visor with a genuine and never used T900 fiberglass one, and fitting the retro log frame behind the cab. The overall look for the truck is absolutely perfect. So let's just sit back and watch Shane at the wheel of his legend, spending his days looking down a bonnet line that stands as one of the greatest views from a driver's seat man has yet created. For the full story, grab the June 18 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine. Enjoy. Enjoy.